What do you want? Snack time already? Go get your bat box. <laughs> this is the old car that I was filming last year when I was up here. I'm glad that wasn't my Jeep. <laughs> well, it'll be some good firewood. A bunch of maples have been breaking and falling down here. That one there, this one, I'm gonna harvest these. Yeah, the old car has seen better days. I have a guy coming up next month who actually rode in this car. He came up in this car many, many years ago. Now this car has been right here just like this all my life. In fact, a lot of the bullet holes in this car were from me and my brother. <laughs> but anyway, he's going to come up next month. Hopefully he's got a bunch of stories to share with me that I have never heard. And he was around when the camp was being built originally, so uh, it's going to be interesting. Hopefully I'll have some interesting stories to share with you. Yeah. The other day I dropped off some cordwood with an acquaintance of mine, a fellow I've known for a while. And the conversation went like it always does. He did a lot of complaining and ranting about life and how things are, cost of living. I hear things like just working for the man, paying for the man, trying to make ends meet, etc., etc. You know what I'm talking about. So during the conversation, his wife is driving around this huge zero point turn lawnmower. Smoke hanging out of her mouth and he was puffing away the whole time. Before I go any further, I gotta throw this little disclaimer in there because I'm not picking on smokers, so don't put words in my mouth. This is a free country, I don't care. Someone wants to smoke, shoot up heroin, do whatever you want, it's your body, you do whatever you want, and never be judged by me. The reason I mention that is where I'm going with this conversation. You see, because while we were talking, he asked me if my house had sold yet, and I said that we have a signed purchase offer. We're gonna bounce back and forth between the two cabins for a while. Once we get all settled in, probably about a year out, we're gonna do some traveling. I've never seen Yellowstone. I wanna to go to Yosemite. I wanna go see the Boundary Waters, Southeast Alaska, stuff like that. So then he proceeded to say, boy, are you lucky that you can do all that. Boy, are you lucky that you don't have to go to work every day. Really lucky. And if you read through the comments on my videos, you'll see that posted a lot. Wow, are you a lucky man? And I've been hearing those words all my life. Way back when I lived in my very first cabin, I'd hear, wow, are you lucky to have this cabin at your young age? And boy, are you lucky that you can do what you want? <laughs> and quite honestly, I am the unluckiest person I have ever met. I deal with a whole bunch of medical issues that have been plaguing me for years. I endure a lot of pain on a daily basis. I need surgeries on my spine, a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of stuff that people take for granted, I have to deal with. But I don't complain about them. It is what it is. The reason for this chapter of this video is just to put things in a little different perspective for you all. Sometimes putting things in a different perspective can be a real eye-opener, which I think this will be for you. <laughs> I complimented him on the lawnmower. I said, oh, that's quite the machine. And he proudly told me that he spent $10,500 for it, which was kind of shocking to me when you're trying to make ends meet. My lawnmower cost me around 160 bucks. It's one of those little red Murrays that you buy down at Walmart. It's not self-propelled either. And I think my yard here is a little bit bigger than his. 
But we all have our own decisions and it's up to us to decide how we want to spend our money and we're entitled to those decisions. What people ought to realize though, however, that every decision we make and every action we take affects us on a long-term basis, especially spending and the stuff to do with the health. I'm not going to get on that subject too much. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like my little mower as much as I like the exercise of mowing the lawn. So I did some math in my head. Everybody says how lucky I am that I can do all the things that I want to do and because I don't have to go to work every day. But really what it boils down to is my luck isn't luck at all. And it comes from the way that I manage my money. And I'll give you an example so that you can understand what I'm talking about. I did my taxes a couple months ago. And this homestead is on National Grid. We have two full-size freezers going. We don't walk around in the dark. I just don't have lights on where I don't need to see. Just frugal about the power I use. I don't have anything running standby power except the computers. My accumulated power bill for the whole year of 2016 came to $404 and change. And I can prove that. I don't need to, but I can. I have all my power bills. $404 for 12 months of power, national grid, right here. The $10,500 that he spent on the lawnmower would power this house for 26 years. I love my little $160 lawnmower even more. I didn't ask him how much him and his wife smoke, but I can assure you it's at least a pack a day. And certainly if anybody smokes a pack a day, they're going to buy their cigarettes in cartons, so it's going to be a little bit less money. But let's just say a pack a day. When I was at the little store the other day behind the counter where all the cigarettes are, I could see Marlboro's were $9 and change a pack, but let's just call it 9 bucks. A pack a day. 365 packs a year at nine bucks you could pay for my cabin in two years two packs a day one year i have about sixty five hundred dollars invested in my entire cabin project two years at a pack a day would pay for that cabin one year at two packs a day would pay for that cabin it's not about luck, my friends. We all have our decisions to make. Prioritize your spending. Put more priority into the decisions you make. It can change your life. Simple as that. Frank and the boss out walking in the woods, living life happy and free. Tracks in the snow everywhere they go There's a pokey way up in that tree A beaver built a pond where they have some fun Taking life a day at a time Best friends until the end Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss